Hello guys, welcome to my space. My name is Trevor. If it's your first time of coming across, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video comments. Okay, so um in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make baby and me soup at home at your comfort zone. Yes, if it's the kind of video you like, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and also send Send it across your family and friends. Never can tell who this video can help. Okay? So let's go into what we have for today. So this is my pancake oil. For you to achieve this soup, you need your pancake oil. Your um, soda ash. I've already dissolved it in water. Um, this is my caustic soda. I've already dissolved it in water. And my sugar syrup. I've dissolved my sugar in water. So, um, there's so many other ingredients. As you go on, you will see the rest. So, I have mixed my um, soda ash and my caustic soda. I've mixed the, the both the light solution and the soda ash, which I've dissolved. I've mixed them together. So, as usual, at the end of this video, I will drop the ingredients, the recipe, everything I use to make this soup. So, at the end of this video, I'll drop it. So guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to mix my soda ash and light solution into my pancake oil. I'm going to mix everything together to form a soup batter. So that is what I've already done. So guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to add my calcium carbonate to my soup batter. So after adding my cajun carbonate, I'm going to mix properly. Okay, so the reason why I'm adding this cajun carbonate is to make my soap come out nice, strong, and beautiful. So that is it. Um, I'm going to stir, stir, stir before I will add my sugar syrup. So at the end of this video, I will drop my my recipe, the whole ingredient I used. So, but the only thing you need to do is to pay attention, watch. Okay, so that is it. So after adding my sugar syrup, I'm going to mix, try to mix everything together. Yeah, yeah. So the essence of adding sugar syrup in your soup is to make your soap flow very well and also gel very well so in the process of maybe making this soap you notice that yes there's a separation don't panic um your soap will come out nice as far as you're using the whole ingredients that i use it will come out very nice so the next thing i'm going to add is my silicates i've already added the silicate this silicate the essence of adding silicate to your soap but that is to make your soap bind very well yes and also come out very strong so that's the essence of um, using silicate sodium silicate in your soap making so as you can see, like my soap um, has really bind, bind it very well, like um, with the help of the sugar syrup and the sodium silicates. So that's the essence of using them. So, but still at this point, I'm going to add my um, glycerin, like a drop of glycerin. The reason why we're adding this glycerin for my soap to bind very, very well, like for it to um come out very nice way to have this shiny look at the end of um my soap production so this is my glass array i've added a drop like a drop of it is okay okay you don't need to add like much like if possible um 10 ml is okay okay for this um what is my recipe for this recipe that i'm going to um drop at the end of this video like you need at least if possible 5 ml or 10 ml let you not pass this uh, measurement if you are working with this my recipe or if you are working with my measurements so the next thing i'm going to add is this uh, sulfonic as sulfonic acid i just need um like a small quantity not much because already my soap will definitely foam do you understand that the essence of adding sulfonic acid is a foam booster so the next thing i'm going to add is um my color so with or without sulfonic acid once you're making use of this my um my 
it's a recipe and all that your soap will lather very well because there is sugar syrup in it already pancane oil ladders very well too so you can make you um without um sulfonic acid but i just feel like adding a just a drop so that's the reason why i added it so that is it So the next thing I'm going to do is to pour in my soap butter in my mood. Yeah, that's the next thing I'm going to do. So after pouring the soap butter in my mold, I'm going to leave it to sit for some, you know, hours. So before I will mold it, if you like, you can leave your own to the next day. It depends the time you made the soap, but you can leave it, you know, to the next day before you mold it. But with this, my recipe and everything, my soap, I'm not going to leave it to the next day. I'm going to mold it the same day, evening time, because I made this soap around that, um around 12 so i'm going to mold it around 6 so that is it so this is me trying to mold my soap because my soap has really um um has really formed very well it, it is solid now so that's the reason why i'm molding it now so if you follow my recipe and everything definitely you'll get this exact soap the same um quantity the same size and all that even the same look as you can see this soap come out very nice it's beautiful shiny like it's glowing let me use that word the soap came out very very nice and strong guys so this soap it did not even take up to up to let's say um five hours before um it's become solid like it solidified so to tell you that if you use my recipe you get exactly like you get a soap that cures very fast yes that you can push out to the market in case if you're making it for um mass production and all that so this is how the soap came out very very beautiful looks like baby and me soap like very very beautiful the camera is not even doing justice to this soap at all because if you see how the soap look behind the camera oh you feel like it's in the soap it's very very pink it's pinking but this camera is not doing justice to it at all it's not just doing justice to it at all but anyways i've come to the end of this video thank you for watching bye